Hey guys, Courtney here, the New Mexico Stitching Demon. Uh, if I did it correctly, you guys would have seen what I'm working on. We are back to Legend of Dragoon. It's been a couple of months since I've worked on this. I've been working on it today. Because I can. Well, that and it's in the rotation. <laughs> So today is Sunday, April 21st. Happy Easter to those who celebrate it. Happy Season 8, Episode 2 for those of us who don't. Um, Dane is at work. And we were actually surprised that he was working today. He thought he worked tonight. And we get a call from his manager and she's like, where are you? And he's like, wait, what? Oh my god, what a weekend. I hope the lighting's good. Looks like it's good. Alright. I've got my whiteboard propped up on my hutch on my desk with my pattern on it and it's blocking the LED light that I have. So, but hey, seems to be working out. I can still see. Y'all can still see. Nice. Um, I, I had mentioned last week, if you guys had watched my last, um, Stitch With Me, that I was going to try a new way of doing my Stitch With Me's. I haven't yet done a sample test of what, um, sorry, kicking off my slippers, of what I want to do, so I did not think that now would be a good time to try it, so... So, um, just to recap, Legend of Dragoon is being done one over one on 25 count loop, no, bone even weave. Um, this is the only project that I am doing one over one at this time. My hades are being, <clears throat> my hate is being, it's one hate that I have going on right now. Um, my hate is being done two over one tent stitch, but Dragoon is being done one over one, not tent stitch. So this weekend has been extremely busy for it being a slightly longer weekend. Um, I did get a half day off on Friday. A lot of us did. And a lot of people at work are getting, whoops, a uh, Monday off. So... They expect that it'll be busy, but I'm up at the front anyway, so it's not like it really changes my day too terribly. Um, but we have recently acquired six baby chicks, four of which, no, I'm sorry, eight baby chicks, six of which are hens, and two of which are roosters. One, we can definitely tell is a rooster, the way he struts around, his um, tail, feathers, the way they're coming in, all that fun stuff. And I think that there's another rooster in there. And if, if that's the case, we are, we're going to give them away. Um, because apparently you don't want two roosters in the same chicken coop because they are bastards. Which is why the rooster that we are keeping, his name is Ramsey. If you watch Game of Thrones, you know who Ramsey Bolton is. He's a cock. And he's a bastard. Um, but we have, but we've been spending so much time building the coop that I didn't get a whole lot of stitching done up until really today. Um, the last rotation, the last project that I was working on in rotation was the Let It Snow banner, and I really didn't get a whole lot done. And I kind of expected that once we said, hey, let's build the chicken coop. Um, and it's mostly done. It's more than halfway done. Um, Dan said that he's going to be working on it well, not really late tonight, but um, I 
but he's going to be working on it pretty substantially tonight when he gets off work because he wants them done. We have the chicks currently in our library. Um, we've got newspaper laid down for them. We've got water. We've got food. And they love that food. Um, we do need to go to the feed and tax store and get better food. More food because obviously they're growing. Um, we hope to have the coop completely done in the next couple of days. Well, really tomorrow because Dana's off tomorrow. So he's going to be finishing it up and then at least with the building part and then I will be coming behind him essentially painting everything that isn't painted now. Um, I did help with a lot of the building yesterday and the day before. I got slightly sunburnt. I'm sore. I hurt. I have not done physical labor since I quit uh, my job over at Smith's a year ago. I mean, not even freaking the gym hurt me nearly so bad as, as working on that chicken coop has. Mammies, did you hear the babies peeping? They're okay. They're just probably just running around. They're okay. Bandit is just like, oh, those are my babies. I must check on them. And of course, Friday, what the what happens? Bandit goes into heat. And I'm like, fantastic. Okay. Sorry. Like, I'm lost and confused. But that's pretty much about normal. Just about done with my final week in my counseling class, which is nice because I'm tired of it. And then I think Monday starts my next class, but I'm not sure. I really need to look at that because I haven't gotten any like notifications about it or anything. And usually by now I have, so the only notifications I keep getting are, oh, you need to order this book. You need to order this book. The thing is, is I've already had this book for a while, so I don't need to order it again. And I called my counselor, my advisor, and I'm like, how do I make these emails stop? And he says, well, they're automated, so, you know, just disregard them. I'm like, all right, thank you. Hey, princess. I've been um, having floss tube going on in the background today. Because I have been busy putting together um, the next 10 new starts I've got planned between May and July. Meow. Meow. Missy's yelling for some stupid reason. Um. I am now at three binders worth of projects. Three, eight, sixteen, twenty-four. Twenty-four projects I'm gonna have. Whoa! I'm actually very excited. So in May, like I mentioned, I'm gonna be starting the baby sampler for my friend, and then in June I will be starting the Christmas ornaments. For all of the children in my family, basically all the nieces and nephews. In fact, that's exactly what it is, the nieces and nephews. Two. And then in July comes the second round of new starts for the year. And I do not intend to have any new starts after that. <laughs> 
um, I'm also hoping that, because when I was doing, you know, I'd take out my planner and I write down everything, you know, like first I'll like take a sheet of paper and I'll write down all of the projects that I've got going on right now. Um, and then I look at the calendar and I'm like, okay, where do I want to put this? Where do I want to put that? And some things are strategically placed. Some things are just like, okay, well, that looks good there. That looks good there, whatever. Um, and then, um, and then I go from there and, um, I have eight new starts for July. But technically they're starting June 30th because I have one day because June 30th lands on a Sunday and I'm like, I'm not going to start, you know, another round on something I'm already doing. If I'm already going into a brand new rotation and it only makes sense, you know, because these are all three day rotations, you know, um, So to me, it just made sense to just start them on June 30th. And that way I literally have, um, eight new starts going on in July. And the way that it fell is that there's a good three days right there that I don't have anything being planned. Now, the reason is why there's nothing there is because I am anticipating being completely done with three baby dragons by the end of june the way i've been going about it it is entirely likely that it will happen um however if it's not you know i'm not gonna cry a river i lost there it is almost lost my thread Evan. um It would just, I, my plan, my sock plan is to be done by June 30th, to be completely done. And I'm on the final row of pages. I don't think that it's impossible for me to get it done that by then. I'm also, um, in the, or doing or participating essentially in the large project completion competition. Uh, with Gen for Ginger Gerald, um, so to be done with it before he finishes Henry, and you know, been following his progress, going okay. I think I have some hope here, because <laughs> the pages, the size of pages that he's got going on are way bigger than mine, so I think I have a shot. That being done. Um, in that time frame, so that'll be really cool. And then, following that, the ornaments will be the next focus because obviously those are Christmas presents. And then um, after that, my focus pieces will be on a monthly rotation. Is how I'm planning it out. So. Um, And, you know, I had joked oh, with Dane, you know, of having like a wheel of, of, you know, focus pieces or something. He goes, yeah, we can get like, you know, one of those old spinners from the board games and a piece of paper and tack it to the wall and you can just spin it and do it that way. And I'm like, well, there is that app. And he's like, really? Really? <laughs> like, I don't know. Um, I think it's called that Tiny Decisions app. You, A lot of you guys use it for um, let go or be uh, whatever, but, um, don't think I'm going to do that because I'm only going to be doing it for a month. Right. Or, um, You know, I could, I could conceivably do it until like everything, like, like keep spinning it and then like schedule it to where, um, I have it all planned out for all of them. And then, you know, 
Yeah, I mean, it's an idea. And then Daniel was saying, well, you know, why don't you put the ones that are closest to a finish? Like, why don't you focus on those first? And I'm like, well, that is an idea. So I think I might do that. Um, what what do you guys think? Um, if you want to comment below, give me your thoughts. You know, how would you? Because I'm gonna have 24. Well, coming up now, 23. Really, dude? Go lay down. Now. Um. 23 rips and ro whips in rotation. Um, how would you do it? Like, I know that there's a lot of people that have, like, way more whips. Or way fewer whips and i know that there are a lot of monogamous stitchers and i totally respect that because that's how i started off was a monogamous stitcher see where that got me um like how you know i do want to focus on every single piece make sure that every month something gets a little bit more work on it um you know to just kind of advance it you know what i mean Because I love, I honestly, I did not think, and I've said this before, I did not think that I would actually enjoy having so many whips, but I really, truly do. So, make sure you guys can't see that, and even if you could, I'm not going to worry about it because, well, technically, I mean, yes, this is a homemade pattern, for want of a good term, um, but... You know, let's keep some copyright going. Oh, I got to show you guys this. This is the list of supplies that I need to order for a couple of the um, patterns that I've got started. And really the one that I have to order the most for is winter wildlife stocking. Um, Cause it's got some specialty things. You see that? Technically there is 13, no four, I think 13 skeins of 310 that are being used in this particular project. Um, I'm only going to get 10 for right now because I've got a few skeins in there and I've got a few skeins coming. But 310 is in literally everything that I've got going on <laughs> just about. But I'm going to be ordering 10 just to kind of, you know. Um, but yeah, this list, way shorter than the list, than the original <laughs> list of um, the first round of rotation or first round of whips that I've got that I had started this year. But as much as I have loved working on so many projects, I really have. I, I didn't think I would, but I really have. It doesn't drive me nuts. It, you know, I've got it all systematically um, organized that, you know, you know, for three days I'll work on this and three days I'll work on that. And it's scheduled and it, it works for me. 
Um, I know that there's a lot of people that like they just stitch what they want when they want. That works for them. Um, and I have absolutely no hate for that. I think that's absolutely really cool. Whoops, not that one. Whoops. Don't you fucking fall. There. Um, but I also like to see things finished, you know? I like to see, you know, completions. As much as I love the progress or the process, I love the, the product as well. So I think what I'm going to do for the first round of... Oh yeah, do start from the bottom, right, go to the top left. Each project I stitch differently. I have noticed that, yes. Um, so the first round of focus rotations. I think I'm going to do it to where it's the first, you know, the ones that are closest to a finish. And then, um, the you know, kind of go from small to big. Like the Artiste Minis ones, like the I Love Dogs and I Love Cats. Those are pretty close to being finished, to be perfectly honest. Um, they could be done in one or two more rotations. Um, and that includes the backstitch. Um, Monopoly, I think that one would definitely not take all the time, but I think if I worked on that for a solid month, it might, you know, not get finished, but it would definitely see a lot more progress, you know? Well, everything would. One, two, three, four. But it is really fascinating to me that even for three days set aside each rotation each month that so much gets done i'm actually blown away by that you know um and it, and it is really fun to see things just i mean even if it's slow for you know more or less that you can see things just really start to build up on itself and it's amazing and it's such a great feeling Whereas when I was a monogamous stitcher, yeah, watching everything come to life and watching everything build and, and progress quickly is nice. But to me, I think that also the slow and steady progress is just as rewarding. Been watching everybody talk about their um, those who went to the Stitch Nanians retreat in Arizona this past week. I'm glad everybody had fun. Everybody got some pretty cool things. Um, you know, I'm Um, I would still like to go one, two, three, four. Um, I would love to go to a retreat at some point. Um, it's not going to happen in the next couple of years, but like this year, next year, absolutely not going to happen. But 2021, man, I'm, I'm going to try for it. And I'm just not yet sure which one to go to. Not yet, anyway. And, but here's my thing, and maybe it's just my anxiety. Um, because, like, most people in America, I suffer from mild anxiety. Um, you know. I just deal with it differently than most people. I get mad. I get angry, really, honestly, about my anxiety. I'm like, you know what? You need just get your shit together. Nobody fucking cares what you think. Blah, 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 blah. Three. And that's just, you know, I get mad when I get anxious. 
because it's like why why am i putting myself through this and you know why am i thinking people are thinking this when it's probably not even the case you know i like for example i will comment on somebody's post on instagram and they don't respond and i'm thinking well they don't like me right i like okay and then and then it just kind of snowballs from there like what did i say what did i what have i you know did they hear me say something on one of my videos that they took offense to or blah, blah, blah. And why don't they like me? That's bullshit. It's juvenile behavior in my mind. But, you know, that's just how it goes. And then, then you know, give it a day or two and then it, I just, you know, it just kind of goes away. But I don't, you know, I get mad at myself. I'm like, why, why would you, why do I put myself in that position when I'm, you know, when the, the, you know the case could be well they're busy or they have you know they get so many comments they don't see it or you know they saw it but they didn't have time to reply you know something like that or they don't really care about you anyway so just quit your bitching you commented and that's what you all you needed to do <laughs> stupid anxiety but here's here's what i fear would occur were i to go to a retreat that I would sit alone at a table not because I'm shy because God knows that ain't the truth or anything like that I would be sitting at a table alone because everybody knows who I am and that's why they don't want to sit there with me because they don't like me for one reason or another So that's like my main fear about going to a retreat. Basically, I'll be shunned just because of the fact that I don't, I'm not the same, you know, whatever, as all other people that go to a retreat, you know. And, you know, this is this is basically the thought process, so you guys are going to go on this little trip with me. So, I'm going to, you know, and this is probably wouldn't even be the case. I'm sure that if I did go to a retreat, people would be like, oh, you're Courtney from New Mexico Stitching Demon. They'll be like, yeah, oh, yeah, those are, videos are really cool, blah, 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 come sit with me, come sit with me. I'm sure that could possibly happen. However, this is how it would probably most likely occur. Oh, so you're New Mexico Stitching Demon. Ah, okay. Well, have fun and nice to see you and walk away and basically I'm shunned for the rest of the time. And then why would I, you know, and if that's the case, why would I spend my money to basically be an outcast? You know, I could just as easily have done that staying home. Now, is that a likely scenario? From what I understand, not at all. But doesn't stop me from thinking that's how things could play out. So highlighting. You guys, so I was looking at the first couple of pages of this particular pattern. Um some time ago, I don't remember when. And in the first few pages, I don't highlight. Well, I mean, it's more than the first few pages. Like the first row, two rows, three rows of pages, I don't highlight because at the time I didn't see the point of it. No, I do. And I'm just like, how? And I looked at the pages and I'm like, how did I know? <laughs> Where to go, you know? Missy. Missy. She's sitting at the door to the library where the chicks are, and she's like, I want to go play with them. I will say this, that my cats have been extraordinarily well-behaved with the, with the chicks. It's been amazing. Missy hissed at him a couple times yesterday, but that's just because they're in her room. That is her room. She wants her room back. But anyway, long story short, 2021. That's when I would like to go to a retreat. 
um i think it would be fun dane is all for it he's like you know if you want to go by yourself go by yourself but i would love to go with you and i'm like yeah i'd love for you to go with me too um oh he's gotten back into did i mention that he's stitching again like he's not like stitching every day obviously not like i do but he's never stitched like i do <laughs> you know he he's just like blown away that i have so many projects on the go and he's like i don't get it like i don't get it i would be driving myself nuts i'm like i thought i would too but um he uh You know, we were talking about it one day and, and he goes, you know, if you really want to go, you know, we can plan it and you should go. I think it would be really good for you to be able to go and, and you know, meet people that you that you only know through floss tube or whatever and make some new friends and get out and, you know, relax and go stitch with some people. And I'm like, yeah, that would be really nice, but. But I don't know all the rules to it, you know. And apparently there's not a whole lot of rules. You know, and I'm sure I'll be guided. You know. Missy! What was that? Okay, that just happened. Missy, knock it off! Whatever. Cat. She don't listen for shit. But, you know, I, I think that would be really fun to do. And I'm, I'm excited at the possibility of being able to go. Someday. Might not be, you know, obviously it's not going to be until 2021 when I actually sit down and go, okay, this is where I'm going to go. You know, this is what I'm sure is expected of me. And this is how I need to behave. And I would like to put it on record that I do know how to behave. I do. But I do. We had the um, Office of the Secretary of Human Services Department, the state of New Mexico, came to our office last week to meet us. We were the first stop on his quote world tour, even though it's just a state for or state of New Mexico tour. And he was very impressed and good for him and blah blah blah. And, you know, gave us his you know what they have plans for our department which is the income support division um you know blah 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 and i'm just noticing that there's like you know nothing in their plan has anything to do with getting people off of welfare just that it intends to keep them on welfare and i'm not a fan of that in fact most people that work for our department are not a fan of that because we don't I mean, yes, we, we are here, we get our money for people from people that are on the system. We get that. But we don't need the entire state on the system. We need the entire state working. You know, I, I love my job. I really, 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 truly do. Um, I just wish that we could you know, encourage people more to, to, you know, to become more financially and economically independent. And I get it. It's not easy, especially in a state like ours where unemployment rate is so high. And there are people who are very well skilled, um, but they, you know, especially in our town where their skills are just not in demand. So I get it. Um, but at the same time, it's like, you know, sometimes you have to swallow your pride and go for the lesser option until a better option comes available. You know what I mean? It's it's not something people like to do, but, you know, if you want to be able to support your family and to set an example of, you know, 
if you want something you work hard for it you do what is necessary you know what i mean it's when 18 year olds try and play the system or the person that doesn't want to work and that they would rather stay on the system those are the ones that really kind of irk me it's like we're not here to give you a career we're here to help you when you need it not be you know just because you want, don't want to do anything so but you know there is a lot more um but and i did mention it in the meeting i'm like you know this is something that is kind of missing you know do you do you have plans for this would you know what's your thoughts on getting people back into the workforce and the guy who heads up the child support enforcement division he goes you know we do want people out of poverty because if they're working they're paying child support it's like well duh you know you want people out of poverty you want people to be you know independently economically secure to some varying degree because other obligations are getting met money is going back into the state and it boosts the economy but you know what do i know i only work for a living I would like to point out socialism is completely the opposite they don't want people working they want people to subsist on their government and if there's less people working there's less money going back into the to the um to the system to help support those who are not working so you know It's just economics 101 you know if you if you want a economically stable society you have to actually like contribute to said economically stable society now just you know to be fair i did not do well in economics in high school however having lived as a working stiff for the last so many years this is pretty much common sense beach and uh streets you know that which i have gained from doing that in order to better your life you actually have to put forth the effort to better your life you can't just expect people to just hand you something hand you hand you something on a silver platter you know want it work for it earn it that's what i say if you want earn it so at this point i'll go ahead and um say fairly well i'd like to thank you guys for stitching with me today um if you are new to my channel i want to thank you for subscribing thank you uh for watching liking commenting um thank you for joining the madness i totally appreciate it like you have no idea um whether you new, whether you are new or a returning subscriber, I do want to welcome you each and every time that you watch my videos. Um, if you have watched my videos and you haven't subscribed, give it a think. A think. Maybe you know, give a give a view to a couple more videos before you make that leap. It's completely up to you. Uh, I am going to get back to stitching Legend of Dragoon after I upload this. Um, and tonight is episode two of season eight, the final season of Game of Thrones, so you know that I am going to be not stitching much. I know that, um, Jesse Murray has started the, um, Go for the Throne style? Something like that. 
uh, hashtag on Instagram, and it's a really great idea. The problem is I can't stitch to the show. <laughs> so um, if you guys are, are doing it, um, good luck. Um, someday I will actually get all of those house banners from Lolita made, but buying more to him. <laughs> I know it's only 10 bucks for all five of them. I get it, but you know, when you put a self imposed uh, imposition on yourself, not much you can do. So, anyway, you guys have a great weekend. Enjoy your great week. Um, next weekend uh, is definitely Three Baby Dragons. And then following that will be um, the May update um, to see everything that I've worked on for the month of. April. So you guys have a wonderful, uh, wonderful time. Happy stitching. And, um, someday I might actually find a good tag to just say, all right, bye. Um, but for now it's, you know, every, we're all, we're all different in this world and that's what makes humanity so great and also so shitty. <laughs> um, but it does, I, I do love the fact that humanity is different because if we were all the same, we would be really boring. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.